Hello and welcome to Get the Word in Your Face International. This is Pastor Cheryl Jackson coming to you with a word from the Lord. God is good and He is good all of the time. He is worthy to be praised. You know, I try to change my intro, but every time I try, I come back to that. Just worship Him and praise Him. I, I just want to thank Him for who He is and just lift Him up above everything and everybody because God is good all the time and worthy to be praised. He is the Most High God, El Elyon El Che, the living God who loves what He has created and He wants us all for Himself. He wants us to come to Him and lean on Him and rest in Him and rely on Him and ask Him and trust Him because he will work all things out together for our good as we let him have our heart and let him have our mind that means when I say let him have our heart I mean let him have the cares of your life he cares for you he's given us his son so that we could come into the full salvation that God is for our lives He's not going to leave us. He's not going to throw us away like the people in our lives have. He's not going to ignore us like the people in our lives have. We're a witness to hurt and pain. And, you know, nobody's life in this world has been complete joy, has been complete happiness. We live in a world of wickedness. <laughs> we were born into sin, born into wickedness. And that is all we've ever known until we said yes to Jesus Christ. When we said yes to Jesus, we stepped out of darkness and into the kingdom, into light. If we would have the light, if we would eat and drink and live, when I say eat and drink, I'm talking about living in Him living in God, not living for God. I know that we'll come to living for God and doing life, but I'm talking about the life that looks to the one who created it. I'm talking about looking and leaning on and resting and trusting that the one who says, I've got your back, has it. He won't leave you. He will not throw you away. I, I'm going to say that over and over again. We can trust him. Don't lean on your own understanding in this life. I'm telling you, the one who created all things sees and knows and hears all things. He saw everything and all the evil that would ever play out in this life. He saw it. He knows how high it has to go before it is finished. God knows the beginning and the ending of everything. Every situation that could possibly happen, every scenario that could possibly play out, God saw it. And he still speaks to the hearts of people so that they would change their mind about the direction that they're going in and come to him. Because when we step out of darkness and into light, we have information we didn't have before. Because you can see it from a higher plane. You can see the situations of life from a higher plane. You're not down here on the ground, pecking at the ground like a chicken. You're, you're an eagle. You're soaring. You're soaring through the sky. No, not literally. But we're spiritual beings in physical body. We've been seated in Christ Jesus. We're seated in the heavenly realm in the Son of God. He is the head of his church. We are his children. We are, we belong to God. I'd be so glad when we really get it in our heart and understand that the Lord truly is the keeper of our hearts. That the Lord is a, the anchor of our soul. And that we don't have to lean on our own understanding about the cares of this life, about the frustrations. Those frustrations are to be brought before the Lord. Those anxieties and that 
that temptation to be depressed or to whatever. <laughs> I don't know what it is for you. All I know is what comes and tries to block my mind so that I cannot go about doing good. I need my mind intact so that it's leaning on God and God's way of doing things so that I can exercise good work <laughs> in this world. I told you we'd come to that part where we, we're we doers and we go about doing good in this life. God has created us in Him, His workmanship. We are His workmanship created in the Son of God, in Christ, for good works. We go out and we do good. We it, even And it starts right there in your own home. Somebody's got an attitude. What do you do? You submit to God. I don't, I, don't, I don't mean quick, jump on your knees and be religious. You take the time, the time to listen. All the while, there's a prayer going on in the inside of you for clarity. But maybe you don't even have to do that because your heart is so surrendered that you're saying, hmm, Lord, what do we do with this? Hmm? Maybe you can take your daughter's hands or your son's hands and, and just pray. Or maybe... You know they're older and they you know they're they've walked away from the Lord or they just they're just not there. Well, you're still going to listen, and as you're listening to what they're saying, your heart is open to the Holy Spirit, who will teach you all things, so that that person can feel the love of God. Yeah, it's you, but you know, and it's your love. But th this love of God is coming clear through the situation. God is able to work all things together. He'll work it out for our good. And it's not necessarily, you know, all about you so much as it's about Him getting His glory. We're His children in the earth. We're His feet in the earth. And it's okay. It's okay. Sometimes we get hurt, but this hurt doesn't remain. This hurt is growth. <laughs> I like to say that one. This hurt is growth. This this pain and agony sometimes it is really it's us looking to God. And it's what does it say now in the Bible? The weeping may endure for the night, but joy comes in the morning. No, I'm not telling you that we walk around here prancing happy all the time. What I'm saying is that we have to learn how to let our soul lay in the hands of God. I trust Him with my soul, no matter how much I may not understand a thing. I trust the Lord to work it out. Because it's really all about Him. And all I want to do is just be in love with Him. Stay in the love of God. We're sealed. <laughs> we are guaranteed a seat in heaven with the Father. We are guaranteed to come back and and live in this world without sin. The kingdom of God will rule forever. Amen and amen. But until that time, we are working out our soul salvation. We're walking through this place and learning to truly not be like it. We're the children, children of light. And what people should see is light. They should see Jesus. They should see Jesus. The Spirit of God is in the world, convicting the world of sin, righteousness, and judgment. And yet, we are looking like them in all of our sorrow. I gotta say it like that. In all of our confusion. In all of our lack because we're not leaning on the one. We're not trusting the God of our salvation. He's our life. Who do we have in heaven but him? And the thing is that you can feel the power of the highest in you. The world needs to see Jesus in your life. They need to see Jesus in, 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 in our lives. I, I know that religion has done an evil work in the world. 
they really it, it really has forgive me for saying they but it really has and a, a long time ago I saw that vision of a religious spirit he was sitting with an organ and he's just playing the same music over and over again and people I guess people were really mesmerized by it and as I'm standing there looking at this evil spirit I'm like I told the 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 Jesus or the angel that was standing next to me that I wasn't ready I'm ready <laughs> I, I'll never say that to the Lord again because it's not by my ability not by might nor by power but by the Spirit of God that I have any ability the ability to cast out devils is the Spirit of God in, in you the, the this this the ability to cast down high thoughts that exalt them in, Selves against the knowledge of God is the Spirit of God in you. The Spirit of God is teaching you all truth. He is in all of us the same Spirit that raised Christ from the dead, the same Spirit who Jesus was born of. That same Spirit has been sent into our hearts by the Father. So in every situation and circumstance, no matter how we feel the ups and the downs, we're in awe with God because the Spirit is saying, Abba, Father, He's crying out in our hearts to draw close to God. And as we do, the wisdom and the discernment come. The, the, to, to know what to do comes because God loves His children. He's not going to leave you sitting there in the dust. <laughs> throwing ashes on your head. He's not going to leave you like that. He's going to give you the wisdom and the knowledge. What does it say in Ephesians chapter 3? Amazingly, I'm actually opened already to Ephesians chapter 3. And I want that from the NLT. Let's see what that one says. When I think, verse 14, when I think of all this, I fall to my knees and pray to the Father, the creator of everything in heaven and on earth. I pray that from his glorious unlimited resources, he will empower you with inner strength through his spirit. Then Christ will make his home in your hearts as you trust in him. Your roots will grow down into God's love and keep you strong and you and, and may you have the power to understand as all God's people should how wide and how long how high and how deep his love is I mean once we really get down into this and our roots grow down into this perfect love we're gonna walk like the true children of God we're gonna walk like lights in this world I know we have families and all of this stuff, but God is taking you beyond your flesh so that you can lead so that you can lead your family the right way. We're going to learn how to walk in the spirit. That's what we, we must learn how to walk in the spirit and not give in to all that's going on in the world. And, and when I say that, all that's going on in the world, I'm saying the world could be in your house. It's in what they watch. It's in what they think and what they say. The world is in your house. And it's overtaken you and crippled your mind. Crippled your ability to go out and just do good. <laughs> crippled your ability to stay in God's love knowing how to stay in God's love will bring you into maturity staying in God's love will bring you into maturity it means submitting to God it just comes we just come and rest we come and abide and and say Lord God not my will but your will be done show me your ways forgive me my sins lead me in a, in a clean clear path because of the enemy 
and for your namesake is confessing before God your whole heart and laying it out before him so that and waiting for his wisdom not my might not not by might nor by power but by your spirit Lord I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me Lord strengthen me today with strength in the inner man help me to walk in the knowledge of your will give me wisdom and spiritual understanding I think that's the other one I was actually looking for I mean I'm here in Ephesians chapter 3 but Ephesians chapter 1 speaks out too we need to learn how to walk in the spirit that's the mind of, he, he knows the mind of God and gives us that wisdom that we need wisdom and spiritual understanding I'll go there and I'll come back here verse 15 Ephesians chapter 1 right ever since I heard of your your strong faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for all God's people everywhere I have not stopped thanking God for you I pray that I, I pray for your constant I pray for you constantly asking God the glorious Father of our Lord Jesus Christ to give you spiritual wisdom and insight so that you might grow in the knowledge of God and I pray that your hearts will be flooded with light so that you can understand and be so that you can understand the confident hope he has given to those he has called his holy people who are his rich and glorious inheritance isn't that beautiful we are God's inheritance I also pray that you will understand the incredible greatness of God's power for us who believe in him this is the same mighty power that raised Christ from the dead and seated him in a place of honor at God's right hand in the heavenly realms now he is far above all above any rule or authority or power or leader or anything else not only in this world but also in the world to come God has put him God has put all things under the authority of Christ and has made him head over all things for the benefit of the church and the church is his body as you and me it is made full and complete by Christ who fills all things everywhere with himself oh my gosh <laughs> that ought to make you get up and delight in the Lord because we're in him we're seated in Christ Jesus but God who is rich in mercy and he loved us so much that even though we were dead because of sins he gave us life when he raised Christ from the dead this is Ephesians chapter 2 verse 4 and yeah, verse 4 it's it is only by God's grace that you have been saved for he raised us from the dead along with Christ and seated us with him in the heavenly realms because we are united with Christ Jesus We're seated in Christ with him in him <laughs> read John chapter 17 again and get an understanding of how connected we are in the spirit with God this soul of ours is learning how to submit itself to God and learn how to rest trust him don't lean on your own understanding this is all about him and him getting his glory the Lord is the strength of our lives he is our wisdom he's our knowledge everything that we need is in Christ the people that we live with the people that we're ever around <laughs> if they have a mind of the flesh and they have the, the, and they walk according to how they feel and what things look like if if we're not wise in Christ if we are not spiritual or not connected with the Lord spiritually 
If we don't abide in our relationship with God, these people will take you hand and foot and lead you away from God. Oh, you don't believe me? You think once saved, always saved is really a thing? See, we're walking out our soul's salvation in this life. We're working it out. We're laying out ourselves before God. We're staying in His love. But we can love the world just like somebody else does. And we're fighting for our lives to come back into this place of life. Mm. I'm sorry. People don't believe that they can lose their salvation. It's not that you lose it. It's just that we give it away. We won't come sit with the one who loves us and trust him. We need to know and have a relationship, a relationship with God. That's what I was talking about in Ephesians chapter 3. God, he's the one who created relationships. He's the one whose love we need to abide in. It's not hard. God's word is not grievous. It's our feelings towards the people that we say we love. We do not love them more than God does. This might be the part, well, probably already was the part where people cut off because I'm going to tell you that though we love our families, we don't put our families above the living God. We don't put our families above Jesus. We don't put them above the Holy Spirit. We want them to come into the kingdom. If we want them to come into the kingdom of God and be saved, then we're going to submit our whole self to God and trust him to give us the wisdom we need and not give in to the feelings. I know it's hard. Believe me, I know. But the Lord knows your situation. And he's able to give you the strength you need to work it out in love. His grace is right there for you. His strength is right there for you. His mercy is right there for you. You know, he's told me things like, you know, in, 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 in this hardest, in these hard places where other people's flesh is in the world, where they're acting crazy, he has said to me, be gentle. So if I have to be gentle with people who act out in the flesh, so do you. You're called by God to be like Christ. Christ didn't, you know, he didn't go in on them the way we think he went in on them that opposed him. He may have had to kick it up a little strong in his vocals or whatever, but it was under the power of the Holy Spirit. It was in the authority of God. It wasn't us lashing out in our feelings. It wasn't Christ lashing out in his feelings. It wasn't him going into a cor corner and whimpering and saying, I'm the light of the world. How come they can't see me? I created this world. How come they don't understand? Hmm? All I know is that the spirit in us produces the kind of fruit that is good. He knows how to be strong when we need to be, you know, kick up our voice a notch. He knows how to bring what needs to be said and what needs to be done with authority. The authority of Christ in this life. You got to read your word. You've got to read the word to see how Jesus cast out devils. And how he spoke the word. And they said, see how he speaks the word with such authority. He didn't yell at them. We need to learn how to minister like Christ to our families. To the people around us. Now, this is Pastor Cheryl Jackson at Get the Word in Your Face International. Get the Word in Your Face. Ephesians 1, Ephesians 2, and Ephesians 3. Read those and grow in the knowledge of God. Keep yourselves in his love. Be grounded, be settled. Because the Lord will strengthen you, strengthen the inner man. He will give you the ability you need 
to love like he does in this world and loving loving you all the while all the while that you're walking through this mess I'm telling you he will keep your heart and mind and the joy of the Lord will truly be your strength I love you all be strong bye bye